In case you somehow missed the news, the high-flying action soccer game Rocket League was launched on the PlayStation 4 and PC, and it's a huge success. At the time of production, the game has been played by over 3 million people, and counting. In case you don't know what Rocket League is, all you need to know is that Rocket League is a football game, or soccer for those in the US, in which you don't play as a lift and muscular soccer player, but a supersonic rocket-powered automobile. It's a strange concept, but it's well-loved. The game has gotten high marks and reviews, and the fans really enjoy it. So why is Rocket League such a big success? Here are three important reasons. To start with, if you want to own Rocket League, you just buy it. Seriously, far too many multiplayer games today that are either free, or worry similarly enough, paid to play, split up the game's content across DLC packs. I'm not talking about fancy cosmetic items, I'm talking about maps and gameplay modes. Selling these things piecemeal can have the bad consequence of dividing a player base between those who've paid for the base game and those who've paid for the extra content. When a player base is so badly divided, it results in people waiting longer to find matches, which has the inevitable result of reducing the total number of players in a multiplayer game, thus reducing longevity. Rocket League has not split up its player base. You buy the game once, and you get everything at once. Number 2. Accessibility Rocket League is the sequel to the 2008 game Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, which was a good game, but it had a few issues. According to Dave Haywood, founder of Psyonix, the original was too hardcore, so we slowed down the gameplay a little bit, he said in an interview with Gamasutra. Indeed, while the original game was fun, it was too fast-paced and chaotic. Even the name was chaotic. Supersonic acrobatic rocket-powered battle cars doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. The original game's difficulty and fast pace weren't really that good for attracting players. There's no rule against making a game with a high skill ceiling. The massively successful Dota 2 is quite complex, whereas Rocket League is, by comparison, dead simple. Rocket League is a lot easier to get into than Dota. The premise is simple. Push a ball into a goal and maybe perform a trick or two while doing so. There aren't a bunch of places you can go wrong, but there's a lot that can go right. Because of the game's simplicity, it's easy to get into Rocket League, even if it does take some while to get good at. Thus, Rocket League is welcoming to new players while giving them plenty of room to grow in skill and become experienced players. Finally, it's everything that other games tend to just promise. Look at the crazy flips and stunts and tricks performed to score goals. It's the sort of thing that other games only ever show off in their advertising, but never really deliver on. Now look at Rocket League. Look at all the absurd fun you can have in the game. Doing crazy acrobatic flips with a car is just the way that Rocket League plays. Not only is the game itself fun, but watching Rocket League is in itself fun, making it a prime candidate for esports and the subject of many exciting gameplay videos. As a result, this leads to great community engagement and the game as good as markets itself. What do you think? Are these the reasons why Rocket League is so successful, or is there something more at play? Hit us up at Blackman and Robin on Twitter and be sure to follow for more game news, reviews, previews, and interviews. Follow me at Jordan underscore Cameron for my other views. Also, if you haven't seen the last episode of the Black Man and Robin Irregular Game Show, the episode on using city skylines to simulate income inequality, I recommend you check it out. We're giving away a $20 Steam gift card as well as some neat Black Man and Robin swag.